God's word is powerful because it has a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasures of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has withstood him and remained unscathed? He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear an orion the Pleiades, and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him my any answer, or choose out argument against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. Responsorial Psalm Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave? your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness or your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come before you, O Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer, I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. 
But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. Let us pray. O God, who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us, and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen.